Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam, and in this particular screencast, I'm going to show you how you can style your UI table view control in iOS development. Uh, if you haven't watched the first part, I highly recommend that you do so, uh, which is part number eight or something, because this is going to build on that particular part. So if I run this app right now, you will see it just uh, displays a plain um, UI table view control. It doesn't have any background, doesn't really have any image, doesn't have a description text or a detailed text and it does also not have a uh, way to move forward, not a detailed dis disclosure, okay? So we're gonna add that uh, uh, slowly, slowly, all right? Let's actually add the button first, I mean the image first. I have already added an image, it's called uh, world.png. Of course, you will have your own images. Let me go back over here. Now, a, let me actually start the app again. Uh, here we go. So a UI table view is actually divided into different sections. So this section is a content view. On the left hand side right over here is basically the image view. And inside the content view, you can also access the detail view. And on the right hand side, it can be an image, uh, the uh, detailed disclosure or the, uh, the uh, disclosure view, accessory view. So you can basically, you know, control whatever you like. Uh, you can put, and these are UI views, so you can put anything you like. There's also a background view, which serves as a background, so if you want to change the background or something. So let's go ahead and add the image. Um, of course, there are multi some styles available, and if you don't want those, then you have to design your custom self, which we'll see in the later tutorials. So here we go, view, okay, and set image. And we have already have the image, so I'm just going to say UI image, image with named, and uh, the image name is world.png. All right. Now this image is going to be displayed on the left hand side. That is the default structure. Okay. These are so the iOS SDK has this default implementations that the image whenever you add using the image view, it will be on the left hand side of the text. Okay. Here we go. So we, it's on the left hand side of the text and it's with all the rows. Of course, in an actual application, you will have, uh, you know, different images for each of the items that you display. All right. Now, the second thing uh, we can do is to add some sort of a detailed message. Like if you have uh, item number one, you can tell the detail about the item. Okay. So we have a detailed text label over here and it's just a label ui label control so we can say sex set text and um you can actually set any text any text so ui table view is awesome all right so let's run this and you'll see that nothing actually got changed and that particular thing the detailed text is not displayed it, it should have been displayed over here but it doesn't display right now, okay? Now the reason it does, does not display is that we're still using the UI table view cell style default. So we have to change it, UI table view style to a subtitle, okay? And now if we run this, you will notice that we will have the subtitle over here. Here we go, UI table view is awesome, right? So next we can change the accessory view um, so I can simply say cell set accessory view and this can be anything this is a UI view so you can add anything that you want uh, I would say UI button actually you know what let me add it in a different way cell dot accessory view equal to UI button and button with type UI button type detail disclosure and let's run it. Now accessory view, once again, it is a UI view, so you can add anything you want. I'm just adding, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just adding a UI button, because UI button also drives from a UI view. All right. So here we go, we can see that all of these uh, uh, items, or rows, or cell, are decorated with now a detailed disclosure. So we're not done yet, we need to change the color, okay? So how do we do that? Um, 
So if I go over here and if I say simply um, self dot table view dot uh, background color and um, UI color green color. So let's r run this and see what happens. See this actually does change the color but it changes for the whole grid okay and uh, what you want to do is to change the color of the rows and not only for the rows and also to add a, a gradient to it okay so well if you want to add gradient it's, it's pretty simple because you're going to do one thing over here which is color with pattern image and we already have the um, the gradient image which is green gradient dot png now uh, keep in mind that we are setting this thing on um, a table view and not on individual rows actually this should be ui image and an image named is green gradient dot png so it has kind of set the gradient but uh, the gradient is set on a table level and not on the row level and that's why it looks so ugly okay so we want to change this we want to set the gradient to a uh, row level so I'm just going to say over here clear color because we don't really want any color for a for the table view okay uh, the row or the cell will be responsible for the color so let's go ahead and do that we are going to use the uh, background view because that controls the whole background so what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to say over here uh, cell dot background view equal to UI color um, actually background view yeah so cell dot background view is UI image view okay and in it uh, image alloc and then init with image and then UI image image named and then we can provide the gradient which in this case is green uh, gradient dot PNG okay and uh, let's actually run this and see what happens so now you can see it looks a little bit much nicer because the gradient is actually set on a on the row level or the cell level and not on the whole table level okay so we can see the gradient but we want to make sure that it looks good so we are going to also implement cell dot selected background view so if your row is selected what kind of uh, image does it display image view alloc and um, in it with image UI image and then image named which will be um, dark green gradient dot PNG so now when we select the particular cell you will you can see instead of that uh, default color now it's uh, acting as the dark green gradient it looks much nicer than the previous implementation okay now if you do want to add much more details if you want to I don't know um, like add some image over here then it will be a much better idea to go with a uh, custom cell and and in the future uh, screencast I will show you how to make custom cell okay so that's pretty much it I hope you uh, like this tutorial and uh, thank you very much for watching